Stephen, it's maybe a strange question to ask a former Coleraine captain, but how have you found your first few weeks as a Ballymena United player? Um, I think it's been great so far, and I think you're probably right. It probably is a, a strange question. They, they ask a, probably a former Coleraine captain, and I think um, for me, you know, obviously I had a, a great time with a great seven years, really enjoyed it, but for me, um, when you know, when, when the end of the season came and, and the decision came to, that it was time to move on, then, you know, once once it was, then it was time to move on and, and the opportunity to come to Balmina came up then. You know, as, as anyone who, who seen me play or, or knew me or, or met me around the club at Coleraine knew that for those seven years I gave every single piece of me to Coleraine and I think the really important thing for me is that regardless of Coleraine, regardless of previous clubs, regardless of whatever, that for the next two years at it, it, the bare minimum, the next two years at least, every single bit of me goes in the making Balmina better and, and making the club better and making myself and making the team better. So, um, strange question, but um, and something maybe we, we maybe didn't think we would have been, been sitting here talking about, but we are and, and I'm delighted to be here and it's been a brilliant start so far and, and through the last few weeks as, as pre-seasons continued and more players have come through the door, we've, we've just got stronger and stronger, so it's been, it's been a really good start. I'm going to guess that you had a number of other options in terms of where you might end up this summer. Why Balamina, and was it a tough decision crossing the Derby divide, so to speak? Um, well, at first, firstly, yes. Obviously, there was there was interest from from a number of clubs, and and obviously, it's always it's always nice to have interest. But I think once I met Jim and, and spoke to Jim, and you know, I think to be to be fair to the club and and Jim and Andy and Chris, I think from, from the outset, they were really keen and really intent on, on getting me through the door. And whenever you have been somewhere and, and maybe feel a wee bit let down or feel a bit um, you know, disappointed with how things have gone, for someone to come in and, and really show that passion and enthusiasm to get you and, and you know, show you how much that you really wanted and valued. And you know, for me, that was a really big thing. And I think Jim was brilliant with me from, from the start and from the minute I met him. Um, you know, not, nothing was an issue. And, you know, his, his passion and drive for, for where he sees the club going and where we want to go and, and how much you want to improve on last year, I think, was a big drawing factor for me. So, um, difficult to cross the divide, no, um, in terms of all those things, you know, in terms of when, you, when you're made to feel like that. And, and, you know, as I said said previously, like, for me, those years of Korean were brilliant and that's fine, happy days, but they're done. That's that's in the past and for me now the, the all I can do is, is give everybody me the, the improved ball I mean, and, and be successful here. So um yes, Jim was, was brilliant, as I say, the club were brilliant. Um, you know, and once the opportunity came up, um they, they really jumped at it and really and really pushed things to get over the line. So it was a good it was a good experience, good deal with everyone and as I say I'm just delighted to be here. In terms of settling in, does it help that you're looking across the changing room again at Josh Carson? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know if it helps or, or, or not. I think um, me and Josh have, have been thick as thieves here for the last sort of six or seven years and, and we'll be really close on and off the pitch. So no, it definitely did help and, and Josh was, you know, when, he, when the new clubs were interested in it and stuff had been agreed and, and it was sort of on its way to, to happen and Josh was definitely a big factor and, and Aaron as well and, and even Jack's here and stuff. So, um, no, it's good and it's it's good they, they have people you know in the changing, but it's also good to meet new people and, and be in a new changing or a new environment. You know, I think for me, I was really comfortable at Coleraine and been there for such a long time and for me sometimes change is good. You know what I mean? You get into a different change room, experience different things, a different way of working, a different way of coaching and learning. So no, it's been good, a really good experience so far, and as I say, it's, it's good to have Josh here again. His, his ears will be burnt off from this year. I actually asked him the same question because you, you did spend seven years together at mm -hmm. Coleraine. Um, and he was very complimentary about you. Was I not as complimentary about him as <laughs> I'm going to ask you. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, what does Joyce Carson bring to this Balamina team, on and off the pitch, I suppose, in terms of the club overall? I think, and that's this, this whole thing is partly, is probably why um, we get on so well together, because he, he's very similar to me, where, you know, he's got a real drive and determination to improve himself. He works so hard, he gives everything, like myself, he gives everything for the club, for the group, for the, for, the team that's around him and I think Josh on the pitch is, I think we've seen it even in pre-season there on Saturday, he's, he's tracking back, he's won in tackles, he's, you know, every single ball is, is the most important ball, every single tackle is the most important tackle and on a Saturday they, they be going to war with him shoulder to shoulder is, you know, is a real big factor for me coming and as I say he's got a lot of quality, both followers can get up and down the pitch, one's the ball back, 
a really good player and a really good character in the change room and someone that for me when the going gets tough that you want in your corner. So no, definitely it was a big factor in me coming here and he's he's obviously he's been a top player over over his career and I think for us they have him in the change room. For us they for the fans they see him on the pitch and for the boys in the change room, they see him there going to war with him is is a real, real big factor. So I'm, I'm delighted that he's that he's here. What have you made overall in terms of the, the business that Bowman I mean, have done this summer? I think we've had a great summer. I think, um, you know, from the outside looking in, and this is no disrespect to the, the boys that were here last year, but I think things needed to improve. And I think um, for a club the size of Balmina, for the facilities we have, the fan base we have, the, the, the enormity of the club, there's no way that our club should be um, in relegation playoffs. So I think for us, a real determination they, they go and improve and be better this year. And I think the gaffer has made a real intent on that by signing sort of quality proven Irish League players and I think for as brilliant and as well as the young boys done last year I think it's really important they, they try and complement that we, we experience and I know obviously Ogres was here last year and Johnny and Andy and Coach team must have allowed the season through injury but when young players are out there they sometimes they need that wee bit of guidance and direction and I think maybe at times last year um, the young boys didn't have that and I think it's a real good environment for them now to see a few more senior pros, a few more players who have played 200, 300 games in the league who, who know what it takes they won on a Saturday. And I think even throughout pre-season, I think there's been a real um, a real big development from the man that came in the door day to end the pre-season in terms of how some of the young boys have been performing so far. So I'm really excited. I think, you know, the, the myself and Josh and Jarvie coming in, um, Danny's a, a real quality addition as well. Ben's just come through the door. Joe's come through the door, we haven't, as fans, probably haven't seen too much of Joe yet, but Joe's going to be a really exciting player for us. Um, and obviously Ben's come through the door as well, so it's a really good time to be at Balmina, it's a really good time to be a Balmina fan, it's a really good time to be involved with the club. You obviously enjoyed many memorable moments and highlights with Coleraine. At 31 now, is it all about creating new memories at Balmina? I, I think that was probably the most important thing for me. You know, As I say, I had uh, a couple other options, but I think... The ambition of the club, um, and you know, looking at it from my perspective at, at 31 here, what do I want to achieve between now and the end of my career? And I think the real most important driving factor for me was I have two young kids at home who are now starting to ask about football and wanting to go to football and um, wanting to be involved. And for me to, to be able to be successful and, and have them there and have them experience it and enjoy that with me. So I think for me, the real ambition for, for myself is and for the club as they, they be successful this year, finish as high up the table as we can and can we win another piece of silver? Can we go and, and stick it to the, the rest of the, the bigger teams in the league and, and go and be successful and, and have those brilliant memories that I've experienced before already but um, that a lot of players in our group haven't experienced and I think it would be brilliant if we could, for me and as I say, for me and my family and for my own personal memories and my own personal achievements, they, they have something where I can have the two kids on the pitch and, and be there and enjoy it and be successful is, is something that I'm dreaming of. So for anyone that's that's doubting the hunger and the desire that's that's still running around in my belly is is that. That's that's what's spurring me on and, and pushing me every day. The first three league games for Ballymena, Linfield at home on Saturday, <laughs> followed by Coleraine, followed by the Cruise. Tough start, starting with Linfield on Saturday. How much do you kind of relish in those challenges? It, at, that's just what I was about to cut the off air and just say that's exactly what we're, that's what we're here for. And that's, we're here for big games. We're here for, we're here for a full house out there. We're here for a Saturday or a Friday night when it's rocking and, and the place is full. And I've been here many a time when it's full and it's rocking and it's bouncing and it's a tough place to come. I think uh, you know a big thing for, for the club in particular and, and for Jim was that last year it wasn't that fortress that it has been in times gone past. So. For me, those, those are the games I want. Those are the games we as a group are relishing. Those are the games where people are writing you off or saying, oh, Lumfield are coming to town. There's three points for Lumfield on to the next one. But no, no, it's not. Lumfield are coming here and we're going to pull it right up to them and, and let's see where it takes us. But I think the co in away is the exact same um, and, and cruise at home is, is again the same. You know, I think for us, if we want to call a spade a spade and we want to be ambitious, those are the games you need to be winning. Those are the games you need to be competing in. They try and get to where we want to get there as a club and as a group. Um, and I know Jim's not going to settle for second best or, or substandard. And I think we've come a long way already in pre-season. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what we produce now on Saturday and over the next sort of eight or nine months. And hopefully we'll be sitting back here in eight or nine months and we'll be talking again and we'll, we'll be talking about how brilliant the season we've had.